having looked at types of law, categories of law, um, then uh, we want to turn to the different legal systems. And uh, okay, when I teach this in the United States, um, it becomes a little bit difficult because uh, you guys in the U.S., you don't have a legal system. I'm sorry. Um, in, uh, in Canada, uh, it's fairly simple. We got, uh, you know, the Criminal Code of Canada. If, if it's in the Criminal Code of Canada, it's a crime. If it's not in the Criminal Code of Canada, it's not a crime. Okay. Um, in the United States, you don't have a legal system. You have 75 legal systems, at the very least. Um, you have uh, federal law, uh, then you have state law, then you have uh, additional uh, legal systems with regard to uh, D.C. has its own legal system. Uh, the military uh, has its own legal system. Uh, and I believe that there are some slight variations between the, the branches of the military. And then uh, some of the uh, First Nations also have um, uh, legal systems and sort of where they fall and, and uh, what kind of jurisdiction. Uh, I will leave that for you to find out. Um, it's, um, it's a bit of a mess. And um, I know uh, when I started teaching this, uh, 25 years ago, um, the uh, Department of Justice had a database which uh, listed all of the possible criminal offenses based on the federal law and, and the state laws and, and, you know, everything that had been um, uh, put into law as a crime. Um, even if it was only in within the jurisdiction of an individual state. Um, and again, at about that time, they stopped. Uh, it, it just became too difficult. Uh, there were too many changes. They couldn't keep up. They could not maintain uh, that database with any kind of accuracy or reliability. And at that time... There were 29,000 criminal offenses in the da database, and, and I'm sure that it has increased since. Um, but the other factor is, uh, you guys don't think there are other types of legal systems. And um, it's, it's very difficult when I'm trying to explain uh, the, the difference between common law legal systems, civil law legal systems, traditional uh, religious law legal systems. Um, I, I have way too many uh, stories about NASA, um, and it's, it's kind of unfair, but when I was teaching down there, it seemed to be particularly difficult. That this uh, particular set of guys, and you know, remember, I'm literally teaching rocket scientists, but they don't know law. And... Uh, and, and, you know, the finer points of international law and the different legal systems. So, uh, we, we went through this in a variety of ways. And finally, one of the guys said, okay, so what you're saying is that it's not just that different countries have different laws, but they are different legal systems, that they look at evidence differently, that the way they uh, present something is different the, the the way they decide whether something is a crime is in fact different in different legal systems and i said yes and he said oh i guess when you teach in europe uh you have trouble explaining to them the common law legal system and i said no they all watch perry mason they understand the common law legal system and that's the thing is is you know, so much of uh, what's on TV and movies and, and so on and so forth, um, that this is based on, you know, these are American movies, and they are based on the common law legal system, which we're going to uh, talk about here in a minute. Now, uh, the uh, one additional factor there is, and this is particularly ironic in view of Hollywood being in California, 
there are in fact two states in the United States which do not follow the common law legal system. The United States federally is a common law legal system. Most of the states use the common law legal system. Uh, California was originally based on Spanish law and most of the European countries, they are under civil law legal systems. Uh, and we'll get to that in a moment. But, uh, and uh, so uh, California is uh, uh, a, a civil law legal system, not just, you know, and as I say, you know, there's a difference between civil or tort law as a type of law, at a, as a category of law, and a civil law legal system. Uh, and sorry for the confusion of the names, you'll just have to remember. Anyways, um, the... Uh, the other state is uh, Louisiana. Again, originally based on uh, French law, and so, again, a civil law legal system. And, and the standing joke is um, that uh, in Louisiana, uh, there is no fraud because nothing is against the law. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that when we, when we touch on civil law legal systems. But common law legal systems... Uh, are, in fact, not that common. There's only about 40 countries in the world that follow the common law legal system, originally uh, based out of the British system, going back to the Magna Carta, and that is the basis of a common law legal system. That is a charter document that lays out basic principles, not necessarily specific law, but basic principles of how you work with the law, what the law does, what the protections are for uh, people with regard to the legal system. Now, the uh, uh, in in Britain it goes back to the Magna Carta. It's been the Magna Carta itself was updated uh, at various times. Um, the uh, uh, the United States, of course, has the famous Constitution. Uh, in Canada, we've got the Charter of Rights and Freedoms and that sort of thing. But there's a basic charter document that lays out uh, the principles and protections, uh, the rights of, of citizens. Um, so, uh, it, it protects people from... Uh, from being attacked by uh, people who are going to use the law as a weapon. Um, and there are principles that help with that protection. Um, so, as I say, um, not all that common. Uh, only 40 countries in the world that do it. Uh, by the way, the United States is not the only country that has a uh, common law legal system federally and civil law legal system in some of the states. I believe it was the second time that I taught in Nigeria. Um, there was a case of adultery that was being tried in a northern state, which was at a state level under Islamic law, and she was sentenced to death. And as soon as that sentence was passed down, the Supreme Court of Nigeria uh, struck down that uh, punishment uh, because... As I say, uh, Nigeria, at a federal level, uh, is under a common law legal system. So, uh, the uh, uh, Supreme Court felt that the uh, punishment was too severe and protections needed to be uh, used uh, in, in this particular case. So, and we'll get on to civil law legal systems next time.